This is my story of how I continued working, even though I was losing my sight. For two years, I struggled. I was working as an administrator when it suddenly became difficult. I was slow, clumsy, and annoying myself, as well as my colleagues. No one could tell what I was going through and how or why I was acting in this way. I knew why. I just didn't want to admit it to myself or to anyone else. I was afraid. I thought my job would be taken away from me and I'd be unemployed, without income and with little hope of getting another job. The answer was so simple. I just had to admit to my boss that I was losing my sight. I didn't realise there was plenty of help and support out there for me and that it was easily accessible and relatively inexpensive as you don't know what you don't know. How many other people are feeling like this? At the time I felt as if it was only me who was facing the worry and impact of going blind while struggling to hold down a job. I now know that I wasn't alone. I found out that 250 people begin to lose their sight every day. I couldn't see beyond my own worry. I looked fine and sounded fine, but couldn't see properly. And everything became very stressful. Losing your sight is often an invisible process as no one can see what the problem is. It's easy for other people to judge or misjudge and for you to end up on the outer fringes of things feeling helpless and isolated. After two years, I arranged an appointment with Occupational Health and explained the difficulties I was having with my eyesight. At last, I'd spoken out loud about it and felt I had made a start. The best thing of all was that they took immediate action by arranging for an expert to do a specialist visual impairment workplace assessment. It was that simple. To my astonishment, there was loads of equipment to help me, which I had no idea existed, including software that could magnify the text on my computer screen. Then I discovered there was software that could read my emails aloud, so I didn't have to struggle to read them using my failing eyesight. She works for several clients and some days she can be... The person doing my workplace assessment also told me about keyboards that are larger than usual so that I could now see the letters and numbers. This speeded up the pace at which I could work. I was raring to go. I felt so much happier. Once I got quicker at doing my job, I found the confidence to tell my work colleagues that before I hadn't been able to see very well. But now that I had the right support, I felt so much better. Naturally, everyone else felt much happier too. They understood and felt relieved and could also offer me support if I needed it. Most of all, it meant I could carry out my duties at work as efficiently as before and stay in my job. My colleagues also received visual impairment awareness training, which helped them to understand how to help me best. If you're experiencing difficulties at work owing to limited vision, struggling to read small print on your screen, using your keyboard, or even recognising colleagues while you fumble around feeling awkward and clumsy, then stop. Say it out loud. Acknowledge you have a problem with your eyesight and get a workplace assessment. It will benefit you, your colleagues, increase productivity, and add to the positive reputation of the company where you work. Losing your sight doesn't mean you have to lose your job. Talk to the relevant people and get your working life back on track. To find out more, visit www.visualisetrainingandconsultancy.com or email daniel at visualisetrainingandconsultancy.co.uk.